what's up gamers this is Eddie here and um question of the day and the, basically the focal point of this video is do gamers have their expectations too high um I asked this question because not too long uh, the Nintendo switch was revealed again to the public this time uh, with the release date price and a few games um my thing about that is i think the 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 reveal itself the presentation probably was boring because it was in japanese and it was uh they had you know somebody to go over it in english and my thing about that was um they you know nintendo when they when when they come out with a console or whatever it ain't about the, the, any console. It's just they were trying to appeal to the Japanese market. Um, a lot of the games that we saw was basically for the Japanese market. The Nintendo Switch itself was for the Japanese market. And I say all of that because if you look at the Japanese market, consoles are kind of struggling. And, and it's not really kind of struggling. Yes, they are struggling because the the mobile gaming scene has caught on and taken over. And Nintendo themselves, a lot of people sit back and say, well, Nintendo has an old way of thinking and they need to get these old people out and bring in fre fresh new young blood. No, Nintendo is looking at their home turf, their territory, where they will make their money at the most. And, and this is what gamers have to bring their expectations down some because, you know, Nintendo doesn't supply games just for the Western market. It, it's, it does it for everybody, but they're going to, you know, start at home first. Charity begins at home. So, therefore, you have games like ARMS and 1-2 Switch and stuff like that. They might not appeal to us, us, Western gamers, but they may appeal to the Japanese gamer because the Japanese gamer they like different stuff they like some of the stuff we like but they like some crazy weird stuff and um when when it comes to the switch itself it looked like a tablet a mobile device um me personally I think Nintendo should give the 3DS at least another year but at the end of this year, everything that they're going to bring out for the 3DS, they should port it over or make a version for the Switch if they want the Nintendo Switch to survive. Um, right now, you have mixed feelings from both camps, from, from Western gamers and probably Japanese gamers too. But um, I think Nintendo is going in the right direction for the Japanese gamer because mobile gaming has caught on and is such a thing. Um, it is is mobile gaming is what shut is it, it, what dismantled Konami basically, and when I say that is because uh, the new CEO or whatever when he looked at the numbers he looked at how they their mobile apps their games is doing is generating a lot more money than their console games and stuff so therefore he was that's why Konami had gotten out of the console gaming scene and they are concentrating on the mobile scene um because if i'm right that metal gear P pachinko uh game whatever the mobile game or whatever it's generating a lot of money over there um nintendo instead of leaving the western gamer out instead of leaving the console gamer out nintendo actually did us a favor because they could have easily said look we're going to get into this mobile thing it's going to be handheld only 3ds whatever but the one thing people a lot of us gamers really d did want is to be able to play our handheld games on the flat screen on our tvs whereas nintendo has given us that with the switch the thing is, now we're asking for more power. Why do we need more power? Why do we need the Nintendo Switch to be just as powerful as the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Pro? Why do we need the Switch to be just as powerful or more powerful than the Xbox One or the Xbox Scorpio? Why? 
when you know is it'll just be we'll just be getting the same experience basically and the thing is we're only the when you when you buy a nintendo platform when you buy a nintendo console are you buying that to play multi-plat games on or is you're buying that for the mario the zelda the metroid and and, and the, the smash brothers and mario kart it's just like with the playstation 4 are you buying that for uh ratchet and clank uh jack and daxter Uncharted, The Last of Us, God of War, uh, Gran Turismo, or you're buying it for Assassin's Creed, uh, Madden, Dragon Ball, um, any Final Fantasy game. You're not. So therefore, you know, when it comes to third party, a lot of people are saying why Nintendo doesn't have third party support or very little third party support. When... It doesn't matter how powerful the system is, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. They seen that. They still made money from the the Nintendo Wii U. They just didn't make a lot. I think the Wii U was their, their lowest selling console, but it still sold. Um, did it take a loss? As far as you know saying each console being sold I don't know I'm not into the, the schematics of the the, the the math of the money and all of that and and the the parts that goes into it I don't know but I know it's so um N Nintendo really did bring us a hybrid of the, their handheld and the home platform and it will it will be smart of them to phase out the 3ds eventually but will they do it we don't know i don't know does it matter it really doesn't the only thing i can i hope nintendo can do and this may be me getting my expectations up too high is bringing pokemon to the nintendo switch it's already handheld so you can go out and you can be out on the go and you play it and you can put it in your docking station and play it at home that would be fantastic. That's my only expectations. Is that too high? It probably is. Because Nintendo probably won't ever port a Pokemon game so you can play it at home. But they have given, they have made the, the tool, they have made it a possibility to do so. So will they? We don't know. I don't know. I hope so. But other gamers, as far as their expectations being up too high, we don't need the Nintendo Switch to be just as powerful as everything else on the market. All we need is to be able to have fun. That's what Nintendo is all about, basically. If you're an old school gamer like myself, you know gaming is basically just having fun. The arcade rooms was just about having fun. It got serious when Microsoft entered the race. And, it, and, and really, it, it, it did. It got serious. Halo was a serious game. Forza... I mean, there's racing. Racing games is always racing games. You know, it, it all depends. Gears of War is a serious game. Um, Sony started getting serious with Uncharted, with Resistance. You know, uh, The Last of Us. It's a serious game. But they also have fun games. And Nintendo brings fun. So let's just have the expectations set on fun. This is Eddie. I'm part of the group Hard Night Gamers. Check us out. Follow me on Twitter, Eddie, just Eddie, and I'm out. Peace. I hope you're ready to preach out. Yeah. Listen up. Don't blame me if you get hurt because you got too close.